welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariah, your Dairy State Vegan, and today I've got more dinner inspiration for you. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm super excited about my What's For Dinner video today. Um, I am doing this in collaboration with my friend here on YouTube, Ashley Nicole Rice. So her and I both are gonna show you five different vegan dinners that we've eaten throughout the week. I have no idea what she's eaten, so um, you'll get to see a good variation of realistic, real life, everyday vegan dinners. Even if you're not vegan and you're watching this, but you're always looking for some great ideas for like meat-free Mondays or something, I definitely encourage you to stay tuned. I've got a few recipes in here this week. One is gonna be a homemade Chipotle ranch dressing, and then I veganized some patty melts. You don't wanna miss those. So let's get into what we ate for dinner this week. All right, welcome to Wednesday night dinner. We are making Southwest salads. It is really, really hot outside, so I don't wanna turn on the stove or the oven. We're gonna use our air fryer a little bit, but everything else is gonna be cold. So the first thing I'm gonna show you how to make is my Southwest ranch dressing. If you are like my family, you have been missing the Just Ranch dressing. We can't find it anywhere right now. The company keeps saying that it's coming soon, but they've been saying it for months. So I figured out how to make my own ranch dressing. We're gonna use vegan mayo. I'm gonna make a big batch, so I'm gonna use close to two cups because we're just gonna keep this in the refrigerator as dressing and dip for the rest of the week. But you can par this down to however you would like it. So I'm using the Hellman's Vegan Mayo. You can use whichever one you prefer. Oh, I'm making a mess. And then I also, to thin it out, use about half a can of coconut milk. You don't wanna to use too much coconut milk or it's gonna be really, really liquid. And I just don't like that consistency. Then to this, everything we add is going to be to taste. So, of course, with the salt, you want to start out a little low. Maybe about two and a half teaspoons to a tablespoon. Sounds like a lot, but it's not for this much dressing. And then we're also going to add onion powder, garlic powder, dill weed, black pepper, and dried chives. I just dump a good amount. Go ahead and start low and taste it and see to your flavor preference. I make the dressing absolutely first before anything else so the flavors have time to melt. So we've got about two tablespoons of dried chives in there. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of onion powder, approximately a tablespoon of garlic, I would go a little heavier if it were just for me, but my husband doesn't like it quite as heavy as I do. I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of dill, because the hubs really likes dill heavy ranch dressing. And then about a couple teaspoons of black pepper. Now, if you were just making ranch dressing, you could stop right here and not do anything else. But because we're making Southwest salads, I'm gonna add a couple of chipotle peppers and adobo sauce to make this like a chipotle ranch. I'm gonna try and get about a tablespoon of this adobo sauce out of this can. And then we are gonna blend this up and then taste it, but it should be pretty close to go. Okay, so next I'm going to take these guardian chicken strips minus the teriyaki and we're just going to pop them in the air fryer to cook them and get them hot. And next we're going to go on to making our salad base. Alright, so I was mid-editing and realized somehow me prepping the salad and putting all the veggies in the bowl, the file got completely corrupted. I don't know what happened, but next clip you're going to see me adding the guardian chicken strips. I just want to tell you what's in the salad. So I layered 
iceberg lettuce, sweet corn, black eyed peas, black beans, red onion, red bell pepper, avocado into the salad dish, and then now you'll see me topping it with the garden chicken. Okay, so with our garden chicken strips, before I add them to the salad, I'm just gonna squeeze a little fresh lime juice over them to give them a little zing. This for the rest of our salad. And then I'm also gonna add a little tahini to the chicken. I'm gonna chop this, add it to the top of our salad, and then we're just gonna add our dressing, some tortilla chips crumbled over the top for a garnish, and we're all set. Okay, so our salad is all deliciously layered. Look at that. I'm gonna add some of our Chipotle Ranch dressing that we made. Now you could add some fresh jalapeno and cilantro to this salad as well. I'm actually gonna add it individually to mine and my husband's serving, but since not everybody in the house likes it, I'm gonna leave it off of the big salad. But there you have dinner for Wednesday night. See you tomorrow. All right, it is Thursday night. We are making loaded baked potatoes out on the grill. So I'm gonna start these cooking and in about 20 minutes, I'll come out, I'll throw some broccoli and foil on the grill and we'll start. I picked up some no evil pulled pork. I haven't tried their meat substitutes yet. So we're gonna start the potatoes and then we'll get everything else together. Okay, so since we're doing loaded potatoes, of course I have to make broccoli. I'm just gonna wrap this up in a foil packet and use black pepper, salt, and a little olive oil, shake it up and put it on the grill. And then I picked up this No Evil Plant Meat. It's a seitan-based meat. I haven't tried it before, but there you can see kind of the nutrition facts. So this needs to be cooked in a skillet with a little bit of water so it doesn't stick, but I have a burner on my grill, so I'm gonna take this outside and cook it up as well. I just wanted to show you guys this real quick. Look, I got my, my nails done for my baby shower on Sunday. So look at this, it says clear the air, meat, eat plant meat. And then it shows what eating a plant-based diet can do for the environment. And I just think that's so cool because I don't think people focus enough on the environmental impact of a vegan diet and lifestyle. So I love the message. I hope that I love the plant meat. I'll show you guys what it looks like in the package. That's what it looks like in the package. So we're gonna take this stuff out to the grill and cook it up and then I'm gonna set up our baked potato bar. for toppings in addition to the broccoli and the vegan pulled pork. So I picked up these BioLife cheddar shreds, some salsa, this siete cashew queso is so, so good. So I picked up that, tofu sour cream, of course some earth balance butter, and then some of our leftover chipotle ranch I made yesterday for our salads. So these are the options everyone has to put on their potato along with the broccoli and the vegan pulled pork. And then I also bought a watermelon and we're gonna have just a bunch of watermelon and loaded potatoes and just a super chill, delicious summer dinner. So I could not decide what I wanted more on my potatoes. So I did one kind of standard with sour cream, bacon bits, a little raw onion, salsa, broccoli, vegan cheese, and butter. And then this one, I did like Southwest barbecue. So I did the vegan pulled pork, some of the queso blanco siete, a little of the chipotle ranch, avocado, and raw onion. And then we've got some watermelon. And this is dinner tonight. I will probably eat like three times that amount of watermelon, but how good does this look? So simple, 
all cooked on the grill and delicious. All right, it is Friday night and we are doing breakfast for dinner. So I'm gonna make tofu scramble and some rosemary roasted potatoes. The potatoes I'm actually gonna roast on the grill outside because it is 90 degrees and I'm not turning my oven on. So I'm just putting some olive oil, some salt, black pepper, garlic powder because I put garlic on everything, and then some dried rosemary. I'm going to mix this well together, put it in a foil packet and grill it for about 35 minutes. Okay, so now we're going to start on our tofu scramble. If you have not made tofu scramble before, I highly, highly recommend it. It's so good and so filling, really good source of protein and iron. Now typically when I'm using tofu, for a meal, I will press it all day, but in scramble, I kind of like it to resemble the texture of like a medium to soft boiled egg. So I'm just gonna drain it out of the package and then while I am cutting up some onions and peppers, we're gonna let it sit on a plate and paper towel to absorb some of the ex excess moisture, but we're not gonna soak it all out today. Now I have a nonstick pan on medium to low heat heating up and while that's heating up with some olive oil I'm just going to chop up our onion and bell pepper to go into our scramble. I also have this giant thing of minced garlic. I'm going to add garlic to our aromatics as well. Now the beauty of a tofu scramble is you can put whatever you would put in a typical scramble in it. So I always liked a lot of veggies in mine. If you're not a fan of a lot of veggies, you can just do the scramble with some seasoning. So we're going to cut up about a quarter of a large onion. I happen to have red onion on hand. You can use whatever kind of onion you want. I'm also going to cut up a full bell pepper. You could really make this easy and skip all this chopping and just buy like some pico de gallo or something and use that too. All right, so we are gonna pop these into our skillet. I'm gonna add a decent amount of garlic, about a tablespoon and a half. Some salt and pepper. I saute this down for about five to ten minutes and then we'll add the tofu and some spinach. It's really important with tofu scramble that you season every layer. Tofu is very bland and it absorbs a ton of seasoning. So if you don't start seasoning from this step, it's going to be hard to season it well enough for it to not be a little bland. So I'm going to let these kind of sweat down and then we'll be back when it's time to add our tofu. All right, so now that these are cooked down, I'm just gonna add a couple handfuls of spinach, and then I'm gonna add my block of tofu. I'm just gonna help it out by breaking it up a little as I put it in. Now I find one block of tofu with the potatoes, and we'll probably serve some watermelon, is enough for my family, but we're just three of us. So if you have more than three, I definitely get two blocks. Okay, and then to this, I'm gonna add some onion powder. It's really important that you go in and taste this as you're cooking it to make sure it has enough flavor. So I'm not really gonna give you measurements. It's all gonna depend on your taste preference. I'm just gonna tell you what seasonings I use. So onion powder, garlic powder, because you can never have enough garlic. Black pepper, about a teaspoon of salt. All right, I also usually add soy sauce, but it looks like we're out. So 
pretend there's soy sauce in there. I'll add a little more salt in the absence of the soy sauce. I also add some turmeric. This, only add about a teaspoon. It's gonna give your scramble the yellow color and it has lovely anti-inflammatory qualities. And then, of course, nooch. Now this doesn't have to cook for a long time. I let it cook long enough for all the flavors to get incorporated and everything to be hot, but you can eat tofu uncooked. So you really don't have to cook it a super long time. Just make sure when you think it's about done to give it a taste so you can see where to adjust your seasonings. So I'm gonna finish cooking this up and I'll come back and show you everything when it's all done. All right, our scramble's done. Our potatoes have been grilled and roasted. They smell awesome. And Friday night breakfast for dinner is complete. All right, so I don't know how well you're gonna be able to hear me, so I'm gonna talk quickly. But we are at, ooh, my hand's in the way. We're at our local neighborhood pool for a luau night. And one of our local restaurants is catering it, Ono Kind Grinds. And my husband just messaged them to see if they would have vegan options. So they decided to put tofu on the menu with purple rice. You guys, it's so good. And I guess they made like five pounds and it sold out. I got the last one. So we got super lucky that we got out of the water and ate when we did. But that just proves just asking for an option can make a big difference. And now they know people want it and they'll have it next year. So I'm going to enjoy this dinner and the rest of our luau. And I'll see y'all tomorrow night for dinner. So, if you haven't been following me, I'm pregnant, like very pregnant, 35 weeks pregnant. You're and, pregnant? <laughs> and so am I. Oh, Surprise! Yeah. Um, and the tofu wasn't enough to fill me up. So, we're at Taco Bell getting some vegan crunch wraps, add potatoes because I'm hungry. Thank you. So, second dinner for tonight. I'll show you when we get home. Second dinner. I already had one dinner and now I'm having two. Yeah. Tofu and purple rice. <laughs> All right, so this is a crunch wrap and if you get it with potatoes in it, it adds like a whole lot more. I'm trying to show you guys, but I don't know if. So you just get a fresco style and it comes with pico de gallo and there's black beans and it's really, really good. So that's my trick to eating at Taco Bell. Get black beans instead of beef, ask for it fresco style so there's no sour cream, no cheese, and add potatoes. I'm gonna eat this and we'll see you tomorrow night for dinner. Tonight for dinner, I'm gonna show you how to veganize a kind of diner food favorite of mine. So we're making patty melts. I'm gonna use the Beyond Meat ground beef. Follow your heart American slices. You're gonna need some marble rye bread. An onion, any color actually, I just happen to have red. And then mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, Salt, pepper, and garlic to season your burger patties. And then some vegan butter or oil to um, get the pans ready. So the first thing we're going to do is in a patty melt, you have to have grilled onions. So I'm going to slice up this onion, and we are going to get it in a pan with some olive oil, salt, and pepper, and start them cooking down. All right, our onion is sliced. I'm going to get it in our skillet with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. Put it on low, let it cook slowly, and sweat it out so you really get a good caramelized cook on your onion. Okay, so next I'm gonna take my Beyond Beef grounds. I'm gonna divide this into four Then we're just gonna make patties out of it. I'm making them a little kind of oval shaped because the rye bread is not just a circle. It's okay if it's a thinner patty, it's a patty melt that's kind of par for the course. But I'm just gonna make these more oval shaped patties. We're just gonna season them with salt, pepper, and granulated garlic. And then I'm also gonna take these and get them on a flat top skillet with some olive oil and get a good crust on either side so that they're ready to go into our sandwich. All right, our patties are cooking, our onions are cooking. 
we're gonna let our patties cook for about three minutes on each side let them get a crust and then flip them and then once our onions and our patties are done we'll come back and I'll show you how to finish off your veganized patty melt sandwich all right our patties are cooked our onions are grilled and now it's time to assemble our patties so I'm gonna scroll you over to this pan and just show you what I'm doing all right so in our pan I'm gonna melt about two tablespoons of earth balanced butter and then on the top halves of our toast on the inside I made a mixture of three parts vegan mayo to one part Dijon mustard. Some people really enjoy um, Thousand Island with patty melts. I actually do as well, but my son does not like sweeter things with savory meals and Thousand Island tends to be a little sweet. So I do this mayo mustard mixture. So we'll just set these to the side while our butter is melting. Okay. Once our butter is melted, we're gonna assemble our sandwiches in the pan. I'm gonna lay two slices of the marble rye down. Put a patty on each. Then we're gonna take our grilled onions and spread some of those on top. This one I'm gonna go a little light. This one's for my kid. He doesn't think he likes onions, so I'm slowly getting him to eat them. I wish you could smell my kitchen right now. Okay, then to the top of these, we're gonna add our Follow Your Heart American Style Slices. I'm doing two per sandwich. Then we're gonna take our toast that we put our mayo on, pop that on top. I'm gonna take this weight, I'm gonna press down our sandwiches, we're gonna cook these till they get golden on one side and the cheese starts melting. Flip them over and then they'll be all set. So I'll come back and show you what these delicious diner classic sandwiches look like when they're done. There we have our veganized patty melt. Look how good it looks. And of course we're serving it with watermelon because that's all my pregnant butt wants anymore. This is dinner tonight. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hop over to Ashley's video and check out her dinner inspiration for you for the week. I'm gonna be making these what's for dinner videos every single Tuesday, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. And I'll talk to you all next time. Thanks, bye.